Hi, I'm down in the roastery again to talk to Dan. Uh, Dan Chabot, if you don't know him, is a champion roaster in Australia and has been to the World Roasting Championships. So we're gonna have a conversation about one of our house blends, which is, da 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 da. Now we don't need to pay for sound effects. I know. So, Morning Gorgeous. It is uh, one of our house blends. You'll have probably seen it out in the high street in various places. What we're gonna do is talk about how we design the brand and then how we design a blend to match that. So, first off, the name, obviously. The name refers to that really good feeling you get when you walk into a cafe and the barista recognizes you just from looking, maybe even knows what coffee you drink. Um, it's that whole, morning gorgeous. It's the, the people who know you and it's like the mini community every morning when you walk in for your coffee. The next thing that we have to work through is the color palette. Obviously, we've got lots of pale yellows and oranges. Um, I don't want to spoil anything for the future, but citrus colors, you might say. Um, obviously, we've got the Evolve North Storm Blue, as we call it, throughout this, as we do with all of our house blends. Obviously, very heavy, leaning towards the oranges in this. And that, it, that's a reference to, obviously, sunrise, morning sun, breaking through the clouds, uh, waking you up in the morning. All works really well. We had to strike a careful balance with how we designed this peacock. What are your impressions of this peacock? If you met this walking down the street, this monstrosity? It's confident, it's bold, it um, tells you who it is and it's not afraid to do so. <laughs> yeah, so we, we, there was a fine line to walk between being a little bit goofy and cartoony and silly looking, but also being quite uh, the, the noble bird kind of thing. So we've got, We've obviously got the, uh, the flower petal eyes. That is a metaphor for choosing to see beauty in the world. And that's definitely a personality trait of the sort of person we're trying to evoke, um, the barista we're trying to evoke through this artwork. Obviously, there's the scraggly hairdo. There's the cup on the head. You're not fully sure that this is an entirely serious peacock, but I think it's a good balance between the nobility of the proud peacock and being a bit of a goofy coffee geek. Um, so when presented with this, what do you think? What would be your first thoughts now and then in the actual blend itself? What did this design make you do? Kind of yeah, thing? and from a coffee perspective, I find that colour influences palette. So, and a lot of people don't actually understand or really think about the fact that some visuals like this can certainly impact what you're tasting in the cup and what you expect to taste in the cup. So, straight off the bat, Dave nailed it. Citrus, 100%. You've got nice pale yellows, you're thinking lemons, you're thinking honey, you're thinking um, light, bright, sweet, sugary sort of flavours. Um, the orange obviously is a, a 101, guess what? Tastes like orange. Um, we do get notes of that in there as well. And then from what I start looking at as well, the floral nature in the eyes, you can look at floral flavours throughout, uh, throughout the coffee, but the peacock also kind of leads toward that as well. Um, and then what we kind of started to, to really break this blend uh, down is look at the origins, look at these flavour concepts and start building it out into a really balanced blend. So we've got a, a couple of beautiful coffees in there that really sort of encompass these traits and really bring these flavours forward. Um, we've got a beautiful Guatemalan that is certainly um, bringing that floral element into it, that high acidity into it as well. And then that's balanced out with a couple of different other origins that um, really sort of balance the blend out, make it nice and sweet and sugary, gives you a nice sort of punch through milk, but also enough character to make a difference on the uh, espresso machine. And my personal opinion of this as, a, as an amateur coffee drinker, but hey, Olympians are amateurs too, so. Um, yeah, that acidity is certainly an element of it. And I, with this blend, what I find is the really most interesting parts, the parts that make, make it memorable and make it go, oh, that's a good one. That all lies within the acidity, in my opinion. Yeah. But you're saying there's a lot of body there, there's a lot of cut through in milk as well. Yeah, absolutely. It is probably one of our more darker roasted blends. So you do get that sort of oomph that you want for your, from your morning coffee. And that's part of the uh, the character of this uh, coffee as well. It's bold, it's got sort of that, that presence that you do want, but it's also got that delicate nature like a peacock. <laughs> So, as you can see, we could have just done some pretty artwork and made some good coffee and go, yeah, that works. But we actually prefer to take a fairly thorough approach. It is stepped out. We start with brand and then we work towards blend. Um, hopefully, as drinkers of this, you can see that and you can experience that and it makes sense to you as well. Um, let us know if you want us to go over the other house blends or anything else that we uh, do here at Evolve North Coffee Roasters. Cheers.